Hey, my darling cutlers. Um, I'm going to be uh, making a seafood boil um, today, y'all. So, anyway, I'm going to attempt to make a um, flavors by Dame Dash butter sauce. But, y'all, like I say, I'm going to attempt to make that. Uh, you know, I don't know how, <laughs> how to come out, but I just want some flavors in my sauce while I'm, you know, um, no, let me rephrase it. I want some flavors in my seafood boil while, you know, I'm eating the sauce because the sauce is good. It gives that flavor. So, you know, I want to attempt to make this butter sauce. I'm going to order that sauce too, y'all, because I swear, I just always, I always just like attempt to make it, I guess, because I like to try to see if I can, you know, uh, do it myself or whatever before I actually boil it. I mean, before I actually um make it. So I'm going to attempt to make it. But first, you guys, um, we are going to start out with uh, boiling our corn and our baby red potatoes for the seafood boil. I should have been letting this water boil a little bit, but it doesn't matter because typically, you know, depends on how high you turn your you know, the pot or whatever. any of you young cubes either some people use those but you know hey it is what it is i don't even i don't think i have any broth <laughs> but i got some creole seasoning so we'll work with that okay um i've already done washed my baby red potatoes y'all for my seafood boil see i don't know if you can see that so i'm gonna dip these in the water to go ahead and boil my corn with my red potatoes corn to boil a few pieces of it water with some Tony's Creole season. Pepper. Pull out some pepper. It's already open. I don't have any season so I'm just gonna use some lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. So what's been going on colors? Y'all been good? Y'all honey I have got to tell y'all some things about that man if you watch my last video and you heard me talk about that landlord that thought he was gonna sell me a house in New Jersey I'm using lemon pepper y'all um, I got an update on that, y'all. For my colors. Yes, I do, honey. And I'm using, let's see, I got some garlic powder in here, too. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Okay. So, go ahead and let them, go ahead and let that cook. And ball or whatever. Um, I also got fried wings I'm going to have with it, you guys. Y'all see? 
cooking some fried wings with it. I'm gonna be eating some fried wings with it. And let's see. What else I got? Got some shrimp. So, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm gonna have to cook the shrimp. Some people boil their shrimp. I personally um like nice fry and marinated a little bit. I know it gets marinated inside of the um inside of the uh sauce. It gets marinated real good. I know that, but you know I still like I like it a certain way. Um so the way I cook my shrimp is I use a little butter. And I um, grease the, the pan down pretty good. Let's see. What's that? Let's see. I think these shrimps are supposed to be already deveined. I hope they are because I would be some kind of pissed if they're not. Yeah, they are already. Okay, so then I'm going to wash my shrimp off, you guys. Look at them, they're big and fat to me. Ah. <laughs> oh, why'd you do that? Okay. And. I'm going to season my shrimp with um, Tony's Creole season. Some garlic powder. And Season salt. Y'all gotta excuse my wretched fingernails. <laughs> I decided to do a video for y'all today instead of actually going to get me a full sit down, so I get it then. And um, crushed red pepper. Okay. Mix these bad boys up. Okay, then throw them in the pan. Okay. Might need to add a little more butter to it, to the pan. Just so they can cook good before they actually start sticking. When the shrimp turns pink, now if you're using these kind of shrimp, like the whole shrimp and all that, when it turns pink, can you see? When the shrimp turns pink, then uh, it means it's done. So, yeah. Okay. I've already got my ball eggs chilling. I had those. I bought these a few few minutes ago, so they're already done. I gotta peel them. And when the potatoes and corn cook a little bit, then I'm gonna add my um, clusters because it doesn't take but a few minutes for the clusters to get done. So I let the potatoes and corn cook till they get tender a little bit. And I'm going to stir up. Oh, and I'm also having some roasted peppers. I roasted these bad boys up. Just a few. They're 
yellow pepper, black pepper, and this is another yellow pepper. <laughs> roasted, so good like that. It's sweet and good when they roast it. Let me flip these shrimp over. Yeah, I just want to give it a stir. Wait till they start turning pink. Y'all, I'm so I'm just all in the camera like far as <laughs> Uh, walking across it and stuff. I hope I'm not blocking nobody's view or nothing. Oh, y'all, but they're looking good, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to twist how I do my shrimp, y'all, when I cook. So. Just a little twist. Twisty, twisty. Some of y'all that's, that's familiar with my grandbaby, I know he is hysterical. He is gone over his Nana's house for the month, actually. So, yeah, he'll be back next month. And I'm sure he'll want to make another video because he loves doing videos on it. He'd be reminding me, yeah, mom, let's make another video. Let's make another video. <laughs> you best believe if he was in his kitchen cooking, honey, he, if, I was in, if he knew I was in here cooking, he'd be wanting to help me with something. That's what you do. I'm gonna give give that um potato to stir. And corn to stir. Potatoes and corn to stir. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this twist. This is my twist. Twist this to add some uh, Italian dressing, any kind, your choice. Throw it over top of the shrimp when they're pink, actually. They're done. Or basically turning pink. And oh, baby, let it marinate in that. It is so yummy, fire, y'all. I'll tell you, you can't get enough of it. Mm. Come on, get down, you little fat shrimp. Fat little. What is that? Fat little. <laughs> mm -mm. This fat shrimp. So y'all, I'm gonna get back with you um, in a few, and we're gonna uh, do our imitation, my imitation of uh, by Dame sauce. But anyway, this is a shrimp right here, you guys. Let me see. And usually I eat them like this, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie, but I'm gonna put them in a seafood bowl. But these things be busting just like this. They are so good, y'all. All you need, it's really like a shrimp scampi when you do it like this, you know, without the noodles. <laughs> but you can put it in, um, you know, cocktail sauce. You can, and the, and the Italian dressing that you simmer it in is really enough. But um, if you want a little extra sauce to it, you can do it that way too. But okay, y'all, um, we're going to attempt to make that sauce, so stick around for a few, and I'll be right back. Hey, y'all, back. I am back. So, <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to make my version of the Dame, uh, Flavors by Dame uh, Dash Butter Sauce, but y'all, you know, this is just my version. <laughs> I'm just, you know, uh, using, trying to intip, use and in, um initiate the recipe but like I say you know you're gonna like some things in it some things you're gonna you know put a little this and put a little that in it so anyway but like I said that's where I got the recipe from but I'm gonna use some extra virgin oil to start out grease my pan And 
I diced up some onions already. Well, not diced, but I sliced some onions up. I want to make them look like they're little rings. So I'm going to let these uh, marinate a little bit or, you know, get them seasoned over in the oil till they get like a crispy type texture to them. Don't want them burnt though, but you do want them to be uh, lightly or shall I say heavy toasted on both sides. some additional light in here because sometimes some of that camera looks a little dark. Okay. Oh yeah, by the way, colors, I did add some onions like these to my uh, water with the uh, onion, with the um, red potatoes and, and um, baby care, baby corn cob. Baby red potatoes and corn on top, my bad. <laughs> you see the seasons I put in it. Although I would have put something else in it, but I like I, I use what I had in my cupboard, like I always do. Uh, but I could have brought some when I went out today to get some of this stuff, but you know. Oh well. I simply forgot about the broth and the beauty on the cubes, but if you got lemon pepper, hey. And you got some uh Tony Creole seasoning. Let's <laughs> season it up. Yeah, y'all, there's some people in the world today that are just, oh, you don't even want to know. When I sit down to eat, y'all, I'm going to tell y'all about that uh, scam of a uh, so-called landlord that was trying to scam me. I gotta let y'all know, Cole. You know I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm gonna let y'all know, honey. So usually how you can tell if your other potatoes done like anybody, you know, you just stick a fork in them. Stick a fork in them somewhere. Stick, 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 stick. Find this bad boy. You find some potatoes. Let's see if I can pick a fork in this bad boy. Ooh, I'm hungry. Uh, they still not tender like I like them. So. You always, you know, check and see if the potatoes are soft enough to get, um, and that's how you know whether or not, you know, they're ready to be pulled out. See, you want them to look like, um, you know, it's a little darker than that right there. You can see that color. See how that look, looks toasty. You want it to be just a little darker than that. I already got my, um, Shrimp and peppers lined up, you guys. Look at that. Ain't they pretty? Let's see if y'all can see. 
Look like pretty. Mmm, toasted pickles and shrimp. So I'm gonna add the rest of my stuff as soon as. So I, I took my onions out and I drained them and uh, now I'm going to make, throw the garlic in there. I diced some garlic up about, uh, I think I diced about three or four cloves of garlic. So I'm going to let that get a little toasty as well. This is garlic. Ooh, garlic though is loud. I mean y'all like a lot of garlic. I mean I, I do but. I think I like it better when it's uh, like cooked. I don't like like um, you know. Well, I like the garlic, the, the minced garlic in like a bottle when you can like squeeze it and stuff like that. You can, you know eat it in like um, chili beans and stuff like that. It's good. But well, like with food, I like my garlic to be toasted in recipes and stuff like that. So just let that get a little toasty. Toasty, toasty, baby. Toasty crunch. Cause y'all been making some moves out there? Let's see, what have I been doing? Other than almost getting scammed by a landlord. Mm. Um, I have been, you know I've been house hunting, so it's not too much that we can do. <laughs> Um, I'm always shopping, grocery shopping. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um, keep my grandbabies. Um, I want to go to the beach, Myrtle Beach, uh, this weekend. I want to go stay a weekend. Just get some relaxation. You know what I'm saying? You go eat in a little nice restaurant. I eat at restaurants all the time, but, you know. Okay, so you want your garlic toasted like that, y'all. See that? Not burnt, but a couple steps away from, you know, being totally crispy. Let me pull some of this. Oh, wow. Drain it. This is good oil. It's virgin oil. So I do save it. I do. You know, I don't know if some of y'all do this or not, but I always use my oil sometimes. If I only use it for like, you know, uh, something similar to that. So now, you take your butter. Butter, butter, butter. So if we can find some butter already off, I ain't got no butter already off. Let's see. Then, you know, I looked at that recipe. I'm just trying to go by memory. That's why I say I'm imitating it. I'm this. This is not this. This is not his. Uh, you know, I can't do the dang dash butter sauce, of course, but I'm just doing my own version of it too. <laughs> but um, but yeah, the recipe. Uh. Initially come from there. So I put two sticks of butter in there and let this sort of marinate in there. That's the onions and garlic, y'all. Let it marinate in there. And then, and then, and then, y'all, stir it up like this. Y'all see? Just let it marinate in there good. Okay. Whew. Okay, colors. So, yeah. Since y'all, since I took a break for a second, I've done squares me some, um, garlic, uh, 
I guess it's minced garlic. Yeah, I done squared some of that into my uh, pot with the boiling water with the um, potatoes and um, and corn as well. I'm going to squeeze half of a lemon in that water. And it's about time for those clusters to go ahead and boil with them. So I'm going to rinse these bad boys off right here, y'all, and throw them in the pot as well. Okay, my sauce is still simmering, but we're not finished with it yet. So hold on one second. in the mix and the garlic and all that chopped and uh, toasted on both sides I'm going to add some homemade chili sauce recipe call for some homemade sweet hot chili sauce and this and that but hey this is hot it's spicy but it's um, it's got its own little sweet flavor too so I got some of that red pepper you do it how spicy you like it honey because I don't know if I can take all that dirt spice paprika And some cayenne. Now that cayenne is what's really, really hurt. That cayenne, honey, that will set your mouth on fire. And I'll tell you, I got to use that by the, by the sprinkle. <laughs> Cause, uh, yeah, it's that hot. It ain't no joke. And, uh, 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 squeeze some hair lemon in it. I'm just really going off memory, y'all. I'm really not going. I didn't, I didn't go back to 
initially see the recipe. I looked, I mean, I looked at it, I looked at it and tried to go by memory is what I tried to do because I'm doing my video, it's kind of hard to keep flipping back and forth. So I'm just going off memory. And some hair parsley. This here right here, you guys. Oh, colors, we rocking. What? We are so jamming on the sauce. Yeah, baby. I'm going to order that sauce, too, though. Yeah, like I said, it's a couple of them I want to try, but I always like to attempt to make it myself cause just because, you know, with everything going on, I don't know how fast um, delivery is with things, but, you know. So, yeah. You can do another half stick of butter if you like. Important on your taste, okay? Ooh, that sauce looks good too, y'all. And might I add, it smells delicious. Yes, it do. I reckon I ought to try it when it gets done. Colors, what you guys think? I would have put a, you know what load of onions in here. I put enough of in there, but you know, I like onions in a lot of my sauces and um, a lot of my, and, and garlic. In everything. In everything. Baby. Colors, y'all know we doing it. Anyway. What? What? Look at that sauce. Can y'all smell it? Can y'all smell it from over there? What? It smells whew, spectacular. It's phenomenal. The aroma. Yes, yes, yes. So anyway, colors, I'm gonna let that there simmer, you guys. And uh, everything's cooking. You done see what I'm putting in the seafood bowl. You done seen how I'm going to season it. So you guys stay tuned and eat with me.